Gonna go over how to work the barrel adjuster or find out what it's for. Got a barrel adjuster, you have them on your brakes, usually for cable actuated brakes, whether it's a rim brake or a disc brake. We have a barrel adjuster here. You also have one on your derailleur, usually the rear derailleur. It's either located on the rear derailleur um, or up at the shifter, if you got that. We'll cover what its purpose is and uh, how I like to use them. So your barrel adjuster here, it's meant to tighten up your brake. Um, mainly you're gonna feel this in the brake lever. So there's two ways I look at a brake. You're feeling your brake pressure here, or where it's stopping. So notice we're stopping here. We're not getting too close to your, to your handlebar. If you're getting very close or touching, you need a brake adjustment. Um, most cases, if you have the space here for the barrel adjuster, you can get that back. You can use fingers. We don't need a tool for that. So I try to leave this for the rider. When you're doing a tune up or tuning a brake, I try not to use this to tune the brake. I wanna leave this plenty of room uh, for the rider. They can do this you know, on the fly at any time. So um, at some point, this it's basically a screw. As the screw comes out, and here we go to that backwards thinking. Um, as we're loosening the screw out, we're actually pulling cable tension and it's getting tight down at your caliper. So your brake, brake pads are getting closer to your rotor or to your rim. So this lever is gonna feel better. So right now we got uh, quite a bit of space right here. If I screw this all the way in, and depending how much it is, you're gonna have to uh, back your lock ring this direction so you're loosening towards, towards me and we're going to tighten everything in so I just gave it plenty of slack I'm giving it going inside into my component this lever is going to come in closer notice that difference right there so there's still break there but I like it to stop a little sooner so if we're too close to the bar and you have a real emergency situation we're not thinking right we're just we're just reacting car pulls out in front of you you're squeezing this brake I'm gonna hit that bar if I hit the bar too soon then I'm gonna run out of braking power if I really need to skid or lock up the brakes um, side note you know when you're skidding you're losing traction so you're really not stopping so if you can avoid it try to avoid skidding of course it's all last second things you know our cars have uh, anti-lock devices built in with the computer so you have to be the anti-lock device try and modulate left and front uh, front and rear brakes so this is all the way in <clears throat> so if uh, a mechanic is working on this if you're doing a brake adjustment if i'm turning all this all the way in we have a lot of slack here. I want it to stop a little sooner, like here instead of here. So I'm gonna take all that slack out down at the caliper. Um, that's what the shop should do for you if you're doing a brake tune um, or include it in a tune-up. But you yourself, if you're on a ride, you're experiencing this coming in way too close. It um, doesn't give you confidence, so we're gonna, as long as we have space here, if this is driven all the way in, then we have plenty of room. So if you left your shop, they put leave you in a good position. I'm gonna loosen this whole barrel adjuster Notice the lock ring is following. So give it a few, you know, two, two, three revolutions and then give it a feel. If you get back in a good spot, like that's pretty good. If you want to go tighter, you can. Just keep in mind at some point your screw's going to come out. Um, we have to know if you look through the slot here, you can see how many threads are left. So you just got to get your eyeballs down at this level, look inside here. So I'm going to go almost to the max for just to the point of this thing. Yep. So now that I have wiggle, this wiggles way too much. If you notice that your threads have come out, um, try and get that started again. Just be real careful about aligning your cable. You need to come in a straight line if you're a little crooked and you're trying to tighten this, you could hurt the first or second thread of your barrel adjuster or other component. Um, in some cases we can do small repairs, but if we can get this fixed, otherwise this will be vibrating as you're riding, um, hurting that first thread these are soft aluminum, so that first thread's gonna be gone, so it's gonna be more difficult to get this started without trying, without stripping something. So if you can just get this, get a nice straight line in, very gentle with fingers, slight jiggle. Put a drop of oil there if you have to on the threads, that'll help, that lubrication will help you get started. And there we go. And always use fingers to get started. Any screw, any bolts, any time, use your fingers. If you have to use a tool with your fingers, that's okay too, we just don't wanna use a big, big wrench is going to overpower you you want still don't want that seventh sensitivity with your fingers so right there so yeah we can get a little tighter there but at some point when you're all the way out we're gonna to have to reset this so say you found your spot i'm gonna like that right there i'm gonna hold my barrel adjuster tighten my lock nut hold your barrel as i'm tightening otherwise this will follow 
Now that's that's all you need is your fingers. If you if you're having trouble loosening this, um, just get a pair of pliers. Just all it needs is one small little movement just to break it free. Something a little stronger than what our fingers can do. So right now this is tight to this body. That should not move. You should not lose your adjustment right there. If we're going to reset this, I'm going to turn this all the way in. And I'm going to take that slack out at the caliper if you're brave enough, which it's not a big deal. Um, of course, the first time everything's scary. So on this bike, it happens to have a cable actuated caliper or disc brake. So got a rotor, same thing. Attachments are the same. If you chose to replace this with a, a hydraulic, not a problem. So I can know, I know it's a cable caliper style disc brake because we have a cable here. We have a little end cable hanging out right there. We do have a second barrel adjuster here. So we have plenty of room for that. So barrel adjuster on top, a little lock ring on the bottom. This one's turned all the way in. So there's plenty of room to make this tighter. So as I'm loosening, coming out this way, it's going to be pulling this cable up in that direction, which is then going to actuate this arm, which then forces a brake pad to go towards the center, make contact with your rotor, something like that. So as you're squeezing the brake, you're squeezing in, that's what happens. That pad just went that direction. You make contact with your rotor as you release, boom. So we got all that free space right there. And the trick is with this is to, we can go ahead and tighten, um, tighten the brakes. And by tightening, we're going left, lefty loosey direction. We're going counterclockwise. And there again, we can do about a half turn to a full turn test and go from there. So I have the ability to do it here or up at the lever. Doesn't make a difference. You just have, you know, two areas that you can work with. Um, doesn't, doesn't matter. So after a couple revolutions, I'll put my lock ring on, test your lever and go from there. Now what you want to keep in mind is if we apply too much pressure, the brake pad's going to get closer and closer to the rotor. We may get so close that we start developing a, a small rub. So then you want to lift the bike up, give the wheel a spin. We're going to listen, um, see if the wheel wants to spin freely or is it slowing down a little too soon? Um, is there a little noise, a little slight rub with um, good rotation is okay. It's not going to hurt anything. Brake pads and, and steel are meant to have friction. So a little bit of friction is not going to hurt you. As long as it's not squealing, as long as you have good braking power, a light rub is okay. It may work itself out. Now, if you notice here, we're looking directly down the pipe of the caliper. Uh, rotors here goes right into your caliper. We're seeing plenty of daylight on the right side, squeezing the brake. Now this is a, a cable actuated and most of these cable actuated calipers, one pad moves, which is the one on the right. The left one is stationary, so when this comes over, it flexes the rotor slightly, a millimeter or so, and it makes it rub on the second pad, which is on the left side, and then you release. So ultimately, we'd like to see daylight on both sides, so we could be a little bit close on the left, could be causing a slight rub, um, but that's going to be a different video. But it's nice about these uh, manual or cable actuated calipers, uh, they have adjustability for left side and right side and independent. Uh, most disc brakes with hydraulic uh, are not adjustable that way.